Alright, we are back and we just rebooted back in. All the name changes have been completed. <sighs> awesome. Services. Uh, system. Update. Let's see if the update will work this time. Amazingly, it is working. Perfect. So there is a new update. Uh, we can do that. Ah, oh, amazing. I can cancel it. Cancel that. Uh, we'll look at updates later. Right now our goal is to do volumes. Alright, to create storage, we click on storage, volume, and we wait for it, and it'll show you all the list of all the volumes we have. Okay. Oh, interesting. Some of my drives are failing. Apparently, zero is failing. Interesting. I know four of the drives were failing, but not the fours that are listed here. Uh, it just names the drives on its own. Oh, how stupid is that? Whatever drive shows up first, it gives it z these names at zero. Okay, that's fine. I'll remove all the drives and insert them in order of their presence in the base. Yeah, I'll do that. See, now I don't have any drives. <laughs> I do have drives. Um, I have the, I have total of um, 12, 14 bays. Two are SSDs, which you see here, and uh, four are connected to the SATA ports. Uh, on the motherboard, uh, that's actually a flash drive, extra flash drive, and eight are connected to SAS ports on a HBA card. Now, FreeNAS works best without hardware aid. It wants direct access to your drive. So if you have a HBA card, that's better, which is in a J, J board mode, as they call it. So without any bullshit of hardware raid. Hardware raid's outdated anyway. Why do you need hardware raid? It's a, it's a crappy system. In my opinion, I'm sure there are some hardware raid lovers out there. I mean, I strongly feel hardware raid is the old way of doing things, really. Uh, okay, so that's it. Just created, mirror these two to equal, these, these two combined together is equal to one of these. So it's basically one, two, three, two terabyte drives right now. Yep, with one drive failure capacity. What will happen if I add that in there? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so let's remove that, add that here. Here, let's connect all the drives, rest of the drives, so they would show up. So I'm plugging in all the drives in order of the physical slot, that way they will be numbered appropriately. Well, I don't know why I was making a big fuss, I can actually change the numbers, but you know, it's just easier this way.
All right, let's see where we are at. Okay, so I think this can be added there and its companion has been added as well so that gives me 6.37 terabytes of storage with enough parity um, overall good performance although I would have thought it would show me some performance levels but amazingly it is not huh interesting and also that ADAs should be together zero and one should be together yeah that just keeps things much more organized <laughs> and that's the way I like it Perfect. I think that looks good. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Perfect. So you can add drives to the spare if you want to. Uh, I have log file here as well as the uh, cache file both are using SSDs and I think that should do it that should create our drive um, you can manually create it also you can also use encryption if you want which we're not going to do so we hit create and it's creating the volume now. All the pretty blinky lights going off right now. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh, so user accounts, directory services, we've already talked about that. Uh, I've already spoken about setting up uh, the network infrastructure to connect to it uh, giving a static IP to the 10 gig car port that has a direct connection to my PC I will do a data transfer demonstration in a minute as soon as the volume is created volume has been created it's super fast 6.37 terabytes cre volume created in no time going into shares now this is where we should set up the share NFS is the Windows share you can also set up sorry SMB is the Windows NFS is the Unix and Linux share AFP is Apple iSCSI you can set up iSCSI target and WebDAV I think that's like a cloud okay we're going with the SMB give it name backup guest allowed browsable is fine oh, do I really want it to be browsable no. removing browsable changes to nobody to allow anyone to access it good change that to no group basically making this share available for anyone hit save it'll take a moment service is not active interesting let's look at the service I was pretty sure 
I activated the service but oh I did not all right service is active now all right perfect All right, so let's do a test data transfer. See how things look. Uh, okay. So, hmm. you see here's the 10 gig. I already mapped it um, using the IP address because we have a use, we use a static IP address. So let's open that up. Uh, Okay, perfect. Nice empty space. Yep, showing exactly the amount of space there is. All right, now let's grab some data that's uh, large enough so we can use it. Uh, all right, so here's some data. Perfect. So I'm going to copy this backup folder, which is approximately ooh, 150 gigs. Copy into the 10 gig folder. Paste. You see that speed? Man, that speed is awesome. That's using the 10 gig network. Here's a performance from the task manager on my computer. Keep crossing, keep going, keep going. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, cross one gig. Yes, cross two gigs. Ah, oh, for some reason it never crosses more than that. But that is still pretty awesome. Look at that transfer rate. 12 minutes I would have copied 150 gigs of data 10 minutes now yep booyah okay let's look at the transfer rates Look at those drives writing. Network traffic is good, good, looks good. Composite temperature, CPU, disk, disk temperature in detail, CPU temperature here. Uh, let's make some changes here. I think that's good. Whoa. Weird. Huh. That's weird. Log out. Yes, log out. And we'll log back in, see if that resolves it. Okay. Still transferring at a very high rate. Yeah, it's not going to take 55 minutes. Trust me. I 
Again, it's messed up. Oh my god. That is such a bug. Are you seeing this, free NAS people? <laughs> I hope you are. Alright, let's log out again and come back. Well, I haven't downloaded the latest update, so that could be an issue there. It might be resolved once I download the latest update. Okay. All right. We're gonna do this one more time. Well, why not just remove it and add it there? Fixed. Uh, not really. Now it's better. Sorry, OCD. It makes sense. But now I feel like both the network traffics should be together. <laughs> Okay, let's try that. Yes, that's better. Perfect. Perfect. Looks good. Looks good. Let's look at our storage. Okay, let's look at the topology of our storage. Good. Looks nice. Pretty good fast storage going on right there. Beautiful. All the light show on my NAS looks awesome. Okay, what other kind of shares can we set up? Oh, we can set up different, whole different kinds. It's going to take six more minutes. Look at that. Gigs of data being transferred within less than a minute. Amazing. Let's set up another volume. Yes, we don't have more desks. Actually, we have four more desks. These are all my bad desks, as you will see in a moment. Why I say they are my bad desk. Come on, desk, show up. There you go. You see? That's why I say they are all my bad desk. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna use them uh, some kind of uh, volume volume stripe or something. I don't know. Yeah, some kind of desk like that. Or I could mirror them. Doesn't give me much of a redundancy. Yeah, that gives me much more of a redundancy. Mm. So, bad volume. That's what I'm going to call it bad volume. Yeah, that's more like it. 3.64 terabytes. Let's create that. Yeah, I have some, I have four slots and I have like four failing one terabyte drives in them. So I gotta use them for something. Not really, can't really use them for uh, anything reliable. So I'm gonna use them as sort of a test volume. Stripe them together as I did. And let's see if we can set up some very very fast transfer. Data transfers. Again, setting up uh, SMB window share. Test one. Test allowed. Permissions change to no group. Oh, I'm sorry, no buddy. Perfect. 
new group perfect done let's see if it's having any weird issues not yet okay so that's done should be able to access it Yeah, I don't care if you can see my IP address, but you don't be you won't be able to access it. So whatever. There it is. Uh, right, let's do a data transfer to that from Come on, where's a large video file? Okay, there it is. A 2.24 gig video file. Copy, paste. Uh, that's pretty fast speed. Yep. <laughs> it's a pretty fast speed. Uh, of course, it's been split between this and the other one. But still, pretty bit fast speed. Yep. Amazingly fast speed. Yep, this these drives are failing. Volume that those look awesome. You can look at uh, some more detail. Uh, power management. We can turn that on if you want. I think we should. On all these drives. Yeah. Yeah. So, setting the power settings on all of them. Let's see what kind of effect that has on our data transfer. Whoa, uh, that's pretty bad. That messed up our data transfer, big time. I don't know if that was the cause. Huh, interesting. Wonder if it'll change if I go back and uh, change it again. doesn't seem to be having any effect on it. I wouldn't think that power management would have any effect on data transfer rate. Uh, well, read write rates on the drive. Mm, or it could be just... It's 
copying a whole bunch of shit data. That's why it's taking so long. It did have effect on it. Interesting. It went all the way up and then they came back down. That's the effect it had on it. Huh. So let's do that. See if it has effect on it again. Maybe it was just copying a bunch of random fragmented data. That's why the transfer rates came down. Interesting. Huh. Perfect. Data transfer done. Took it. Yes, we know it's 150 gigs. Uh, didn't take it that long to copy everything over. So that was pretty damn good. Okay. All right. So this was Ash, a free NAS, free NAS demonstration. Thank you. Have a good day, evening, whatever.